The glim. Are you lying comfortably? Take your time to adjust your blanket. I will wait in the meantime, because relaxation should not be forced. And if you are ready now, I would like to invite you on a journey. On a journey into the mountains. Because that is where I decided to spend my vacation. I stayed in a nice little hut in the middle of the mountains. So there I was, greeting the day with a cup of tea and a smile on my face. After breakfast, I took my small backpack, in which Gunther was riding along, of course, and went to a cliff that I had discovered the day before, and which I desperately wanted to explore further. I soon found myself in that special and mysterious place again. Beneath me, the solid and unyielding stone ground, and in front of me, a cave entrance that looked like a crack in the wall. The edges were sharp and the rock rough. The colors, brown, gray, and black, mixed into a homogeneous swirl. For a moment, I considered whether I should enter. The cave looked deserted from the outside and pitch black. I stood in front of the entrance and slowly ran the fingers of my left hand over the stone. It felt hard and cold. A stronger gust of wind pressed against my back and urged me to enter. The soles of my light shoes crunched on the pebbles as I set my first foot into the cave. My left hand stayed on the wall, and the fingertips slid along it in rhythm with my steps. In the cave itself, I couldn't see my hand in front of my face because it was so dark. But something inside me assured me that everything was fine, so I just kept going. I took a deep breath and felt the cool air fill my chest. I confidently put one foot in front of the other. My steps echoed through the tunnel-like corridor. I stopped for a moment and closed my eyes. Since it didn't matter if I had them open or not, because in both cases I couldn't see more than deep darkness, I finally decided to continue on blindly. I trusted my footsteps and my hand, which continued to slide along the wall. Suddenly I noticed something that I probably would have missed had I kept my eyes open. A faint dripping and splashing in the distance. I instinctively followed the sound. The rustling of my clothes and the soft crunching of my shoes had been the only noises that accompanied me besides my steady breathing. I concentrated completely on the dripping and went on, sometimes left, sometimes right, deeper and deeper into the darkness. Every now and then the way would rise or fall slightly, and my steps would slow down a bit so as not to fall. After a while the rock became smoother under my fingertips, the rough surfaces growing less and less. Then I felt something unexpected and opened my eyes again. My fingertips had touched something soft and wet. Moss. The lush green was peppered with tiny white blossoms and the occasional drop of dew. Only then did I realize that I could see a light a little further ahead. A greenish-yellow glow lured me deeper into the cave. With growing curiosity and the feeling that something wonderful was waiting for me there, I kept walking towards it. The soft murmur of the water became more noticeable with each approaching step. I let my hand drop back to my side. I no longer needed it to guide me. The light got brighter, and finally I found a high, semicircular passage. A sudden warm breeze caressed my cheeks. It came from the room in front of me. As I arrived at the stone passage, I stopped and marveled at my discovery. A lavish green oasis stretched out in front of me, bathed in orange-yellow sunshine. 
a cave of immense height, and the diameter of a public indoor swimming pool opened up to me. There was a crack in the ceiling, similar to the cave entrance I first walked through. From there, the light spilled out into the green landscape of trees and bushes below. The cliffs were overgrown with ferns, moss, and ivy. Colorful flowers adorned the stone tiers. Another breeze brought a fresh, sweet smell to my nose. My breathing and heartbeat calmed further. I felt completely at ease. Small waterfalls gushed from openings in the walls and pooled in a small pond in the center of the oval cave. A large tree grazed the edge of the water, also sprinkled with blossoms. The broad crown of it hung slightly over the pond. The sun's light bounced off of the surface of the water and threw a colorful rainbow on the underside of the leaves and branches. That's when I first noticed the small whitish dots of light fluttering around the water and plants. Like bees they glided from flower to leaf and branch to stone, as if dancing to the beat of the drops of water caught and released by the flora of the cave. I had found something wonderful, the glim. My heart leapt with joy and I cautiously entered the inviting cave. The scent of the many plants enveloped me and made me feel at home. I carefully made my way to the pond I had spotted. The young grass rustled under my feet. I settled under the tree, removed my gear and rested for a few breaths. My eyes closed and I enjoyed the feeling of comfort, warmth and safety. The trunk at my back felt solid and rough, the moss beneath me soft and warm from the sunshine. The gentle splashing and dripping around me let me sink deeper into relaxation. The glim, a small race of fey creatures with glowing, somewhat translucent bodies, slowly approached. When my eyes opened for a brief moment, I could see their plump, rounded bodies dancing across my outstretched legs. A deep joy spread inside of me. I gently raised a hand and watched the glim dance and rise with the small air current I created. A few of them hovered just above my palm. A bright melody mingled with the sounds of nature. It sounded like a mixture of a small bell, a kalimba, and a violin. The babble of the glim. Now that they were so close, I could hear them for the first time. It was cute and harmonious. I couldn't put words to it, but the meaning of their tune was clear to me. Benevolence. I gently dropped my hand back to a resting position, closed my eyes, and finally fell asleep. And my sleep was guarded by the up and down of the small, friendly glim.